Hello, Gabby. How hello. Are you? Oh, hello, teacher. I'm fine. And you? I'm good. I'm good. How was your day today? Oh, kind of easy. I had a lot of things to do and also I felt very lazy. <laughs> so it was, was such a uh, hard work to keep awake. <laughs> <laughs> I was sleeping. I was fishing. <laughs> I don't know if it's right, but I was fishing. Fishing? Uh, pescando, pues, o sea, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> but but it was very funny i i was laughing alone because um i was writing and busy okay that's right and and then the next minute i was sleeping i was like oh <laughs> what a shame if my boss come to the reception and i am sleeping <laughs> sometimes it happens because you are so tired right yeah and well i it's it's been busy days and also um hard days because i am i mean i couldn't rest enough i i've been very busy so um i don't um rest enough Okay. But it's already weekend. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's already Thursday, so you know, tomorrow and that's it. Yeah. I'll, um, but I have to go on Saturday. But just half of the day. Oh. Okay. It's quickly. The morning is very quick. Okay. And is this normal that you go on Saturdays? Um, yeah, I go every Saturday. Okay. Yeah, but but just from uh, 8 a.m. to midday. Okay, to, to noon. Noon. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's not too bad. I mean, yeah, it's not nice to have to work on Saturday, but the reality is in Salvador, almost everyone has to work on Saturdays. Yeah, it, I feel good because in my in my last job, I had to go the complete Saturday. Oh, Even wow. there was there were some days when they changed the the early day, the, the no the free day. Mm -hmm. And and sometimes they switch the Friday to to Saturday, and you and you gotta work on Sunday, and that was Sunday. Yeah, wow, it was terrible, terrible. Yeah, yeah. that sounds horrible. I mean, who, who and all the whole, whole day, the whole the whole ship. So, <laughs> But, uh, in this world, I feel in heaven because just <laughs> the morning and that's it. But what job do you have, or what job did you have that you had to work on Sundays, Gabby? Um, yeah, there was a call center, but and the call center in the count was a uh, airline, so uh, they don't. They don't have any vacations, any free days. Mm. All all day, twenty four hours, they were working. So that's why. Um, sometimes they yeah, um, I don't know how to say it. Como castigar. Punish. Como. Punish. Yeah, and when you when you maybe don't don't get the uh, why the metrics yeah the metrics they they said okay you you didn't get um the metrics so you will have the free day on on Saturday or sometimes even the uh 
a day of, of the week, maybe, I don't know, Thursday, Monday, or something like that. So in this case, you had to work all the weekend. Mm. Oh, it was terrible. And the, and the vacations, the annual vacations, mm -hmm. they give they give you uh, the vacations when when they wanted to or when they have low lower calls. But if you already have the year in in the in work, but they they don't have they don't are available enough, so bye bye vacation until I want. So it was very very stressful because you didn't know when you were going to to be on vacation. So you do didn't have enough time to save money to uh, plan some vacations because they could change you in every moment. Yeah, it doesn't sound too good to that. I'm. Mean, it's good that you left that company, guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's why I left the company even when I didn't have another job because I was really tired of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's great. It's great that you're mentioning that. And that's going to be part of our topic for today. Today is what do you do for yourself? Because really in life, we are many times we are worried about our family. We're worried about our coworkers. We're worried about uh, our mothers, our employees, uh, the other people. But what do you do for yourself? How do you take care of yourself? How do you have a good health for yourself? Because many times you are, you are thinking, oh, I, I have to pay this bill. I have to do this. I, I have to help my mother. I have to help my children. I have to help my partner. And you? What do you do for you? How do you take care of yourself? Who takes care of you? What do you like? That's going to be our first topic for today. It's a difficult topic. Many times we don't know. Many times we're busy working and working and working and working. And then all we do is only sleep or watch TV. And we are too tired to do anything. So that's going to be our topic. Our first part with our partners is what happens? What do you like and how do you take care of yourself? So, we're going to have, uh, before we begin, are there any questions, any vocabulary that you'd like to know? I'd like to know how to say culpable. Excellent. Does anybody know how to say culpable? Blamer. Blamer. Guilty. 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 That's Guilty. Right. Guilty. Is guilty. Very good. Guilty. Mm -hmm. It's guilty. Yeah, 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 that's true. And I don't know if you are like me, but many times when before I felt guilty, I feel guilty to take a day for me, only for me because, ah, my children, my wife, and hey, we don't see you, you are working, but I work for them. And then, ah, and for me? <laughs> so sometimes you feel guilty, that's right, that's a good word. So let's take a moment, let's discuss with our partners. Hey, what do you do for you? How do you take care of yourself? Okay. Hi, thank you for joining us again. Ready to listen to the conversation? This time you will listen to job and job requirements as well as gerunds and short responses. Remember to always practice the conversations with a friend. 
I need a job. Part A. Listen and practice. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling, and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Part B. Listen to Brad call about the job. What else does the job require? Holiday Cruise Lines. Hello? I'm calling about the assistant entertainment director job that's advertised online. Is it still available? Yes, it is. There's just one thing we didn't mention in the advertisement. Do you speak any other languages? No, not really. Oh. We're really looking for someone who can speak at least one other language. We probably should have included that in the ad. I'm sorry. Ready to know about gerunds and short responses? Follow us in the audio program and stay with us for more explanation. Gerunds, short responses. Affirmative statements with gerunds. I like traveling. Agree. So do I. Disagree. Oh, I don't. I hate working on weekends. So do I. Really? I like it. I'm good at using a computer. So am I. Gee, I'm not. Negative statements with gerunds. I don't mind working long hours. Agree. Neither do I. Disagree. Well, I do. I'm not good at selling. Neither am I. I am. I can't stand making mistakes. Neither can I. Oh, I don't mind. Other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love. Enjoy. Be interested in. Let's talk about gerunds. Remember, a gerund is a verb plus ing. Today we will make reference to verbs or phrases that are followed by a gerund. Like hate, good at, as well as don't mind, not good at, can't stand. So feel free to say, I like eating pizza, she hates cooking, they are good at writing poetry, or I don't mind listening to people's problem, he's not good at playing sports, you can't stand cheating on a test. If you notice, you may change the subject. Just make sure you conjugate the verbs properly. Before we go, we want you to look into the chart. Notice we have other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love, enjoy, be interested in. The way to use these verbs and phrases is the same as we did on the previous examples. Short responses with so and neither are ways of agreeing. For example, we use so, to agree with a positive statement. I need to find a job. So do I. Neither. To agree with a negative statement. I don't like working long hours. Neither do I. Did you realize that with both so and neither, we use the verb from the original statement? Also, keep in mind we place the subject or noun or pronoun after the verb. Hello, did you notice when we have an affirmative statement, we agree by using so plus auxiliary plus subject. And when we have a negative statement, we agree by saying neither plus auxiliary plus subject. For example, if I say to you, I like reading books, you may answer by saying so do I. 
Or if I say to you, I don't mind talking to him, you may do by saying, neither do I. As said in the explanation, there are some verbs that are always followed by gerunds. We will share them with you so you may practice. Before we go, we want you to agree on the following statements. I love hiking. I'm not good at swimming. As always, respond on our discussion box. On your own, complete the following sentences and say them out loud. Hi everyone, we want you to get better on your pronunciation. Please listen and practice as many times as you need to. Pronunciation. Unreleased and released. T and D. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice when the sound T or D at the end of a word is followed by a consonant, it is unreleased. When it is followed by a vowel sound, it is released. Unreleased. She's not good at math and science. I hate working on Sundays. You need to manage money well. Released. He's not a good artist. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. On your own, complete the following sentences and say them out loud. Watch your pronunciation. Remember, the more you practice, the better you get. Hello, which of these adjectives are positive? Which are negative? Listen, repeat, and decide. Listen and repeat bad-tempered, creative, critical, disorganized, efficient, forgetful, generous, hard-working, impatient, level-headed, moody, punctual, reliable, strict. Now get ready to listen to four conversations. Then, check the adjective that best describes each person. Listen to four conversations. Then, check the adjective that best describes each person. One, a boss. How do you like your new boss? She's okay. I just wish she'd learn to lighten up a little. What do you mean? Oh, she never enjoys a joke. She never laughs. It's hard to even get a smile out of her. 2. A co-worker. Look what Mary gave me. Isn't this a great book? Yeah, it is. Mary's so sweet. She's always giving her friends and co-workers presents. I wish there were more people like her in this world. 3. A teacher. What do you think of the new French teacher? Well, she's kind of strange. She's in a good mood one minute and in a terrible mood the next. 4. A relative. Hey, what's wrong? I'm fed. Okay. So, it's great you got a chance to speak to your partners, get a little bit, and just reflect on yourself, right? What do you do for you? Okay, what's important for you and how, how do you take care of yourself? Because many times we are worried about everybody else and we forget ourselves, okay? So let's start off and let's see. Henry, who was your partner? Elsie and Carla was okay. my partners. Okay. Who are my partners? Were my partners. Mm -hmm. where, where are my partners, yeah. You are where, uh, yeah. So, um, Carla told, told us that she she's swimming in a swimming pool uh, every morning mm -hmm. and she wastes the, the time uh, watching TV. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. 
Carla o Carla o Claudia, I don't know. I, I, Carla, yeah, Carla. Uh, Carla, say off, tell off that she don't have a, don't do nothing really important for herself because she don't have time. And the last year she played soccer, but by the pandemic she lost the contact with the with the players. Mm -hmm. So she don't she don't don't do she doesn't? She doesn't uh, she doesn't uh, how do you say in this moment she don't have uh, activities for herself. Okay. All right. Thank you, Henry. Very nice. Very nice. Carla? Or... Okay. Uh, my partner is uh, Henry and Elsie. Uh, <laughs> uh, Henry, I... I practice and the exercise practices, practices uh, exercise in your home. His house. Uh, his house. Yes. Um. Tell me. I don't like the stadium. No, you don't like the stadium. He, yeah. He doesn't like. Uh, okay. <laughs> Um, Elsie, the practice uh, swimming pool. Um, only. Okay, all right. Okay, Elsie, did you want to say anything else? Yes, um, Henry said uh, that he he's um, doesn't social <laughs> in the here his yes. mm -hmm. his friends uh, lives a uh, so far away so uh, for the pandemic um, he lost the contact too with her his friends and uh, well for Carla Carla says um as, as Henry said before, um, she doesn't do any special for herself. Okay, all right. Uh, in my case, I, I have contact with my friends by uh, Facebook or Twitter or WhatsApp, but it's like uh, virtual socialization. It's more difficult, right? It's more difficult. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. All right. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for sharing. Dalia, what about you and your partners? Okay. My partner is Mirna Barahona and Claudia. And Cla Claudia said me about the, she tried to relax in, in the work. And in the work. Hey, I like yes. that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she she listened um, finances audios. Uh, no, finan uh, education, finances. And uh, she take uh, a 50 minutes for, for health because she tried to lose uh, weight too. Yeah, and she need to lose uh, weight for, for, for herself, for her, for health, for her health. And then she tried to care for, Careful, careful, sir. Yes, it's all right. It's, it's, it's right. It's about her, her health. But ah, to say, care for, to care for, care for. Yes, mm -hmm. okay. And Claudia, because I I uh, talk about Mirna for myself, and Claudia uh, intro intro to the meeting for the last time and then I don't hear, don't hear that uh, Mirna and me don't hear about, about her, oh, okay. But, okay. but Claudia listen us. 
Okay, good, good. Mirna, tell me about Dalia. Hello, teacher. Uh, we share opinion because uh, we need to, to like to do exercise. She likes to do exercise and to be in shape and, how do you Liberate stress? And release stress. Release stress. And she likes to travel also. She wanna travel in the month of November, maybe in the place of Houston, maybe. And also teacher. That's all. That's all. <laughs> That's all, okay, okay. Good, man. good, thank you, thank you. Claudia, what about you? What about yourself, Claudia? Um, about, about, for example, what I am doing or what, what well, I, I was uh, talking with um, Dalia and uh, we were, um, uh, we were uh, talking that we have a similar age of our sons. Um, because I have two sons, one of them has 25 years old, and the is, other one is, is, is 20 years old, and the other one is 17 years old. Okay. Um, I, I said that I enjoy to go out with my husband twice or three, I don't know how often we do uh, and go out, but we enjoy that time. And well, I wake up every day at 4.30 or 5 a.m. maybe, because I like to do exercise and do yoga also. And so, uh, and I have to go to work after that. And I leave to my home maybe at eight o'clock or eight thirty. I don't have um, uh, a specific time to go, but is around that time. And I come back maybe four or five o'clock. Okay. Huh. And I enjoy my life, and I enjoy what I do. And I'm very happy. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Hey, so the, the three of us have children almost the same. Because you, Dalia, and me, we have our children almost the same age. My son is 23 and my daughter 18. So ah, it's the same, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. A lot of work. Yes. <laughs> it's very hard. Yes. But it's yes. nice. Yes. Yes. All yes. right. Good. Good. What about you, Maria? Tell us about you and your partner. Hey. Okay. My partner is Brenda. Uh, Brenda told me that uh, he take care of she, her. She, she take care. Of, she take care. Of, care for. Okay. Mm. Or take care of her. I don't know. Well, yes. Take care okay. of herself. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and she uh, prepared a healthy lunch for her, and um, she listened music, um, relaxing music or TV, um, and he told me that she? her, excuse me, <laughs> she told me <laughs> that her mother take care of her, yes, because she, uh, her mother lives with, with her family and she is uh, with her mother all, all the life, okay? And she, her mother uh, prepares tea for, for her um, and she takes uh, the medicine when she has sick and is uh, it's all okay okay all right thank you thank you brenda what about maria uh, maria uh, talking about uh, uh, she go to the church and she tried 
uh, the breakfast and lunch. Uh, she is fit uh, with cell phone with your friends. Her, with her friends. Uh, her friends. And she is in, in their home. Okay. All right, good. That's good. All right. Evelyn, what about you and your partner? Hi, teacher. My partner was uh, Francisco. Uh, Fra Francisco told me uh, that to care him uh, walk uh, every day uh, at finish the class with her with his dog uh, he had two dog and talk uh, every day and he like it, uh, but he like uh, try uh, drink, drink with liquor, but don't take a lot of, only to uh, compartir, uh, to share with, with, uh, with his uh, wife, wife, wife. Wi-Fi. No, eh, eh, esposa, eh, why? Uh -huh. I, how do you say, teacher? I don't remember. Almost, always, oh. good. Wife. Wife, 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 uh -huh. <laughs> wife excuse me. <laughs> I remember, I remember, I apparent uh, that he say Wi-Fi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, and uh, almost. he he <laughs> likes he likes uh, listening to music and sing in his car. Okay, all right, great. And Francisco, what about Evelyn? Okay, she cares uh, herself. Uh, exercise with activities, physics activities. And she walks, uh, um, but conserve the health. And and yeah. we together agree to agree the importance of the music to release the stress. And Evelyn likes uh, music and different playlists. Yes, and important for for us. Okay, all right. So the two of you like music. Does Evelyn sing also? Does she like to sing? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. So you imagine Francisco <laughs> and Evelyn in the car. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the people yes. say, what about is only <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. But we have a crazy playlist because, <laughs> uh, for example, but the first song is Dua Lipa and Levitating. Uh, mm -hmm. mean, and Levitating. And the next song is Angelica Maria. Seré la gata bajo la lluvia. <laughs> it's a crazy playlist. <laughs> okay. It's just right. Tia Burka. Yeah, Rocio Lucas, yes. Yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> and then Belinda. <laughs> and then, Belinda. <laughs> okay. Yeah, crazy playlist, a crazy playlist. Okay, good. Rafa, what about you and your partners? Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, my partner, uh, where he got me and Anna. <laughs> I'll be honest, I barely uh, pay attention to Gabby and Anna, but I remember two things one, one about each one. Uh, Gabby, enjoy, uh, let's see movies at home. Uh, she doesn't like to go to the cinema. Uh, she prefer uh, watch movies on um, at home. And Abodana, 
she likes exercise uh, every day to stay healthy. No problem. You have something. Something is something. Okay. All right. But don't worry. Anna's going to tell me about you. Go ahead, Anna. Or Claire. Well, he said that he likes to play. A, what is the name? Machine. That that is like. PlayStation. I don't remember the name. PlayStation. PlayStation. He likes to play PlayStation, and he likes to rest because he's tired of his work. He has to uh, wake up early every day. Gabby likes to watch uh, movies. She doesn't enjoy too much the the theater, and she likes to see uh, channels and where you can see the remodelation of houses. And that's all. Like the brothers. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. All right. I think that's everybody, right? Uh, is great. It's important. Remember, it's just like English, you to help you and your life and your work. Also, you need time to only to do things for you, because you have to take care of yourself and you have to do things for yourself. Okay, so it's good that you have an opportunity to share with your partner. Maybe some techniques. Maybe they they say, hey, that's a good idea. It helps me relax. So it helps me to do those things. That's the idea of sharing. Um. Today, we want to make sure uh, before we continue, let me go over. I think everybody's finished the, the exam, the final exam, but let's make sure that it's okay. Remember, in the final exam, we have several sections. We have five sections from choose the words, okay? Were there any questions about choose the words? Any part that is confusing or not clear what you have to do for choose the words? It's really only about vocabulary, about reading and selecting the correct word to complete the sentence. Was this part okay? Okay, I think yes, all right. <laughs> all right, part B, this is the, the listening. Remember, the listening is no problem if you had to listen more than once or more than twice. The important is that when you heard a new word, you wrote down the word, you investigated. Ah, oh, this word is new for me. What is the meaning? What does this word mean? Or what? how can I understand? That's the important for the idea for the listening. Sometimes it's necessary to listen two times. Sometimes it's necessary to listen three times or more. It's okay. There's no problem in the listening. You can listen as many times as you want. Okay, and part four, or sorry, part three, not part four, part three was just a matter of choosing a response. So for example, I say, hello, how are you? Do you say, oh, I am. well, I do, really, I don't mind. It's only that. How do you respond? If someone says those statements, which one is the correct word to answer or to respond to that person? Letter D was about vocabulary. It's about adjectives specifically, about how to describe things and how to describe people. Remember, we learned a lot of words on how to describe people. Like when you go to the job interview, how are you? Oh, I'm hardworking, I'm level-headed, I'm all of these different things, okay? So this is the idea for all of those, okay? Only you read how the person and then choose the word that describes them. Okay matching. Uh, this one is fairly easy. It's you only need to really complete the sentence with the appropriate uh, complement. So you read and how would you complete it? What would be the best word to choose in order to have it? That a good sentence. Okay. Before we continue with our speaking, were there any questions about this exam? Any parts that were difficult or any parts that you say, hey, I didn't understand this section? No. No, teacher. No. No. I take the exam the last week and mm -hmm. and I have my 
Diploma? What do you yeah. say? Diploma? Yeah, yeah, your certificate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In my certificate, yes. Yeah, I know many of you are already advanced. But, and that's excellent. That's excellent that you go. That is the purpose of it. The purpose is that if you are fast, you go fast. If you are slow, okay. You take more time to review, yes. more time to listen. It's no problem. It's nothing bad. Everybody is different, okay? Some people have more time. Some people have less time. It's okay. Teacher, in my case, uh, I uh, realized all the exercise, uh, all the items, mm -hmm. but the listening is difficult for me because the people speak so fast and I mistake <laughs> many times. <laughs> yes, but I try to the, the, hear the, the audios uh, uh, every time. Uh, why? I think my mind uh, tried to translate and it's not a solution. It's a, a, a approach. A, approach. Yes, approach. Uh, yes, approach the, 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 the sound of the words and uh, don't forget the, 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 the main but not necessary translate, but my mind insists to translate in, I, I saw, uh, I, I'm not fast to uh, understand that the people say. So I try uh, every, every, every time. It's okay, Francisco, sometimes, the people you you listen to them and they speak very easy to understand sometimes the first time you understand and sometimes oh, you listen four times and you don't understand because the person the pronunciation the word is is difficult it's okay the important is you practice and you try to improve your listening because not always you understand immediately sometimes it's necessary two times three times four times depend the situation the idea is to try to advance and advance little by little to understand one or twice. This is the idea, every time to reduce the amount. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, no other questions? Francisco Javier, and YouTube uh, is a, a channel around the listening, only listening. Um, uh, a few different kind to kind to speak the people is really nice. It's around 20, 20 minutes and you can hear only that because the when the you is the listening because I it's very hard to me listening and understand very well too. And then I I have a ch this channel and it's, it's nice too. It's nice because uh, okay. the, 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 when the, you listen in a lot of time, uh, a different kind to speak English is, is nice. Okay. What Thank is the you. name of the channel, Dalia? Uh, I try to send you tomorrow in, in the chat. Yeah, send it. Because I, I don't have my computer right now okay but it's nice i i i uh, i send you to the chat okay thank you Daria. thank you for okay. sharing yeah. i have a question where we yeah, can Henry. see the the score where we can see the the score of the ah, course? Uh, let me show you henry you should see let me share my screen okay when you finish here in the top you're going to have four three buttons in your case you're going to have three you need to this progress. Okay. And in the part of the progress, it's going to tell you your grade. Okay, thank you. I will try now. Yes. Teacher, but yes. I, I, I finished the exam. Yes. In the progress appears like I didn't finish it. You, like you didn't finish the exam. Uh-huh. Because it's in grade. 
like but here is in gray like this or or this part no that... it's in gray it's not red ochre it's it's gray huh when i finish it okay when did you finish it uh, tuesday at the end of the class okay because some uh huh. By because sometimes it takes twenty four hours, but it's already two days, so it should be updated. Try to see mm -hmm. if you can check to see if you have your certificate. If you have your certificate, yes, I have it. Ah, have then it. it's no problem. Then it's no problem okay. for the. It's only the visual. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. okay. Any other questions? Okay. Then we're going to go back to our groups. We're going to go into our groups and we're going to have another small discussion. The important is this time we're talking about the future, future tenses. What are our plans, our activities? Uh, for example, next week, Monday is the last day of class, the last day of class. So what are you going to do? How are you going to continue your English? We expect to continue the course the week after, but what happened? Sometimes with in support, you have to wait two weeks, sometimes three weeks, depend. How are you planning to continue improving your English? What are you going to do to, pr to practice and improve your English in this time? That's what we're going to talk about. So two things, your plan for the weekends, your activities that are going to happen this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, and how you are going to practice your English. It's okay, the two questions? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. changed part a hello and welcome back we're about to listen to different tenses in a single conversation pay attention and try to identify the tenses they are using this neighborhood has changed part a listen and practice this neighborhood sure has changed i know a few years ago, not many people lived here, but the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a pizzeria. Really? Let's go check it out. All this talk about change is making me hungry. Did you get the tenses? Did you notice how they used simple past along with present and future? Stay with us so you can learn to do the same. Are going to use. Time contrast is easy to use. Hello everyone, before you watch our video, we want you to write on our discussion box expressions that you already know, which are used in the past, present, and future. Time contrasts. Past. 
A few years ago, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. People used to shop at grocery stores. Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. We noticed you wrote some time expressions related to past, present, and future. Well done. Now let's talk a bit about time contrast. This helps us to talk about perhaps a same situation that we have lived over the years and we want to make reference since it happened, taking it to our present and imagining it in a future. The trick here is for us to use the verbs properly in its right tense along with time expressions. Let's go over the chart. In the first column, we talk about past and we use time expressions like a few years ago, or people used to, or 50 years ago, and our verbs are in past. We used lived and walked. Let's move on to the present, and here we use these days, today, or nowadays, and of course, our verbs are is growing, shop, and drive, which are in the present. Last but not least, we have our future using expressions such as soon, in 20 years, in the future. Therefore, we use verbs in future, will be, might buy, are going to use. Time contrast is easy to use, just double check on your verbs. Think about it as one sentence per tense. We will now give you more time expressions that you may use with each tense. Past expressions. At that time, in the past, then. Present expressions. Currently, in the meantime, now. Future expressions. In the next couple of years, next, in the near future. Now we want you to write a short description about how has your life changed using the expressions below. Make sure you do it and present it to your teacher to make sure you did it right. Ready to work on pronunciation? Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. Pronunciation. Intonation in statements with time phrases. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people used computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Can you now complete these statements with your own information? Read the statements to your teacher. As a child, I used to. Two years ago, I. In five years, I. Hi, we're about to study conditional sentences. A conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job. Consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, 
we will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if. So we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure, if clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present. Main clause, subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, don't forget to write your consequence using the future will, may, or might. Okay, guys, what are some tips? What are some things that you can do while we don't have class to continue practicing your English? What did you and your uh, partner think of? Uh, my partner said that we can watch movies in English. Uh, mm -hmm. In Netflix, you can put the subtitles in English and you can put the audio in English. So you can uh, you can listen and read in the, in the, in the same time. So it's good to learn more vocabulary and try to try to try try near the 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 ear. I, I know how you say oh, you the the ear to understand the the English. Okay, good, good tip. Anybody else with you and your partners? How else can you practice your English? Yes, uh, Rafael and me. Um, we are try to watch. The, the movies in English and the subtitle in English too. But we thought we thought about the we have a chat with another partner with this um, these models and we try to speak in English. Because uh, for example for Rafael it is easy because the he uh, have a, a partner in in him work. We try to speak in English, but for example, for example, I um, for me is very difficult because I don't have around me. We try to speak in English, and then maybe Rafael and me go uh, about have a chat with another uh, partner and okay. try to speak in English during the have a. Good idea. Yes. I can be in that chat also. Yes, yeah. yes. And then we we take a few minutes, maybe a uh, ten or or twenty minutes to speak all of you uh, around a topic, maybe. Excellent, excellent. Idea. Very good idea. Good. Well, I hope all of you have a great weekend. On Monday is going to be our last day. 
So I hope everybody is able to come on Monday. That way we can talk some more and get some more ideas to practice our English, okay? Okay, thank okay. you so okay. much. Sure. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank good, you. Night. Good, good night. See you on Monday. Bye. See you, guys. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.